Um, the first question, it's a, and, and I'm pleased to hear that you're that you're studying other people's writing uh, for film and TV or whatever. Uh, the first question to identify is uh, who's the protagonist of this story? And generally, it's going to be the point of view character, the character with whom uh, we spend the most time. Uh, but there are exceptions. And so uh, if, you, for, if you've got a film, for example, you can go to the end of the film and in your study, start there and discover who makes the crisis decision to take uh, the climactic action. Uh, that would be the protagonist. Who is the character who carries out the crisis decision, climactic action? Um, and so that character may appear late in the film. That character may share the, uh, the film with another character and so forth. So anyway, that First step is who's my protagonist, uh, who's determining, who takes the, the decision and action that uh, brings about the climactic action. Then go back uh, to the beginning of the story, and the next question to ask is what does this character want? Uh, desire is the key. What does this character want consciously? And in a complex character, uh, what does this character want subconsciously? that somehow is contradicting um, his conscious desire or her conscious desire. Uh, is there a deep inner conflict in this character between what they think they want in this, uh, in this situation, uh, uh, what they want out of life, and what they, are they their own worst enemy? Is there an unconscious desire that contradicts that? And then I start to begin to, st to study the choices uh, that the character makes to take action. And uh, when they take their action, then analyze the forces of antagonism. Where do they come from? Inner conflict, personal relationships, uh, social conflicts, physical conflicts, and most importantly, values. What value is at, the, at stake in the scene? Truth lie, love hate, justice injustice, uh, what, lie, what value is it at the heart of the scene or complex of values? Can there certainly be more than one? And as you work through the story and you see the various um, values that are at stake in the story, look very deeply to figure out what is the core value. What is this story essentially about that if you took that value out of the story, there would be no story? Uh, and then, lastly, when you understand these values, you want to look at the dynamic of change. How do the situations and these values for this protagonist go from positive to negative, from negative to positive, positive, negative? How do the scenes shape themselves around changing charges of value and um, <clears throat> the turning point within each scene? And so those are simple questions. Who's the protagonist? What, is it, what do they want? Uh, what's stopping them from getting it? What are the values at stake? How do these values undergo change of uh, their charge, positive, negative? And um, as you get answers to those questions, looking at it scene by scene, uh, uh, moment by moment, scene, sequence, act, climax, uh, you'll begin to unravel stories. And, um, and they will become um, clear. And you become, um, I, I hope, if it's, you know, of course, if it's really good writing, You'll be, you'll be in genuine amazement at the, the brilliance of these writers. Um, another question, of course, and answer. the setups and payoffs. When you get to a wonderful moment and something happens that's really uh, striking, then go back and see how was that set up. Uh, and uh, in sorting out the setups uh, prior to the payoffs, uh, you again, you'll see... Uh, the technique uh, that um, uh, is demanded of really fine writing.